Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video I'm going to install some sights on my Glock 17 and I'm going to use the NC Star sight press. And this is the case right here that it comes with. Nice little padded case to store everything in it. It's a real simple press. It runs about $40 to $50 uh, on Amazon. I'll put a link in the video description below. But it's made of aluminum so it's not the most robust thing out there but for the cost and for the function it's it seems to work pretty well it's got a few little spacers in here I'll show you what those are for here in just a moment but let me get that out of the way so basically you're gonna put the slide in here and then you're gonna manipulate drift your sight out now the sights I'm gonna be putting in the Glock here um, I just don't care for the factory sights at all is I'm going to use some Dawson Precision uh, fiber optic front sight and then a fixed rear sight. I like Dawson Precision in a lot of my videos and a lot of my guns I'm always talking about it. I like the fact that his sights are recessed meaning the fiber in the front is recessed with inside the metal and what that does, I don't know if you can zoom in on that, you can see this is the, por the portion you're going to see from the back of the gun, you see how it's recessed within the metal there. This is another typical fiber sight. You see how that's mushroomed on the outside. This thing here in sunlight glows like you would not believe. It's this huge red dot. Now, if you're wanting a huge bright front sight that's just halo in effect, I mean, it's going to have this corona looking effect around it. Those are the sights for you. This in my opinion gives a lot more sharper uh, imagery so if you're looking for a front sight with that particular uh, characteristic look at the Dawson sights if you see some other folks out there that are doing something very similar to this then by all means go for them as well but th this is the reason why I use Dawson sights over others and anyways so what we're gonna do is first of all you take the gun apart and the Dawson sight that that you when you get them comes with a press a little to drift the tool out or to drift the rear sight out this one here has been used I've kind of munged it up real bad on the APX and if you've been following me on following me on Instagram you'll see I could not get these factory sights out of this Beretta APX to come out so I ended up having to take it to a gunsmith I tried to use the included drifting tool and it just would not work I tried to use this tool right here and this is one of the shortcomings of it and it just would not press it out. I mean, that was solid. So even with the drifting, with this press here, I could not get it. Had to pay a gunsmith to actually do it. But anyways, it kind of, the tools, or the kit comes with this, and then a front sight tool to install the fiber front sight using a hex screw. And then, of course, the rear sight we're gonna put in. And I, I just like black, like the real clean look. I'm not too much on the uh, fiber optic rear sights and then our front sight. And here's our little hex nut right there for the bottom. And then it comes with a, an adjustment screw as well to tighten it down. So anyways, we've got our slide apart, remove your guide rod, and this is one of the calibration kits for the Glock. This is a 15 pound spring and a stainless steel full length guide rod. I find the 15 works best for me. If you haven't seen that, I'll put a link in the video description below. But we'll take our barrel out. So all we need is our slide right here. So. What we're going to do is we're going to point the muzzle away from us and then we're going to do some adjusting here. So I like going to center this here. And you notice these dovetails right here. This is going to clamp the slide on the sides and the kit comes with an angled dovetail like this. You can kind of see how that is. So our slide on the Glock is flat so this is not the one we want because we don't need that little ridge right there. We're going to use a flat one to clamp the slide in place. So I'll just slide these in. And these are just a polymer so it doesn't mar up the finish of your gun. So now we got those in place. These are going to hold it sideways. This is actually going to drift our sight. And then this one here is going to clamp the top down. So once you get enough space in there, then we can put our, our slide in place. I got the tack rack on there, causing me some issues getting it in. All right, so here we go. And we're going to center 
this, the press that goes sideways into center with the, the rear sight itself. So we want to make sure we're pushing, you know, the center of this on the center of that. So I'm going to kind of munge this around here for a second. And we'll tighten up the side. Tighten up the side over here. And then I'm just going to loose, tighten up the front here. And the front's going to keep this, the slide from falling down left and right. So here's our front. Kind of pinches it down against this adjustable table. Now the table, you want to make sure the height of this is going to be just so it clears the top of the slide. So we can actually come down, I think, probably a little bit on the table. So you see how we have some clearance right there still? So I think we can come up on that table. So I'm going to loosen up the sides, loosen up the top, and then we'll adjust this to bring it up some. Like I said, we want to make sure we clear the slide so we don't scratch up the slide. So then we'll tighten up that side, tighten up the front, and we're just finger tightening this. So when I did the APX, this press comes with a nice little handle here. I couldn't get enough leverage on it. Uh, this it looks like it's a 15 millimeter right here. So if you had a 15 millimeter wrench, you could put that on there. I didn't have one, so I ended up using a crescent wrench to do it. Hopefully the Glock, Glocks are a lot easier supposedly to push out the, the rear sight. So this should do, uh, this should be a whole lot easier than the APX. And now most sights are going to drift out one way and then go back in that way as well. So if, if we're drifting it out to the left, it's going to drift back into the right. And a Glock, from what I understand, you can go either way on it. So I'm just going to hold this in my hand. The, the, the tool itself can actually be mounted to your bench, but I'm not going to put this up as a permanent thing because I don't see it being used all that often. So we'll just kind of hand crank this and we should be able to drift that polymer sight out. This is a whole lot easier than the Beretta was. All right. So there's our little polymer rear sight. So we'll set that off to the side. And we're going to take, I'm going to put this back in the center. And I'm going to take our slide out. And we'll test fit our Dawson rear slide, our rear rear mounting. So this has got like a carry profile, if you will. Uh, I don't need an adjustable sight. The gun seems to hit on impact for me right now. So if your gun is hitting on impact for you, you like the way it's sighted in, you really don't, you want to make sure you're buying, if you're buying a front sight, you want to make sure you're buying the exact same height of the front sight that's in the gun itself. Otherwise, you're going to change the point of impact. So we have a, a little set screw here in the bottom. I'm going to back that all the way out. And you'll notice here on the bottom of the, of the sight, there's an arrow. And that arrow is going to be the direction at which you put the sight in the gun. So I remember at the beginning here, I was telling you that we're drifting the sight out this way in most cases. So it's going to drift in this way. So if you look, there's that arrow on the bottom. So we're actually going to go in this way. Now this sight has been fit in another gun, the Diamondback, if you remember that video, it was not uh, the best gun, if you will, so I took my sights out and had them, uh, now I'm going to install them in this, because I, I sold the gun, and now I want to use my sights on my Glock, because I really detest the, the Glock factory sights. So it should go in about halfway and then, then get stuck. So we're going to fit our rear sight to the slide itself and remember you always want to modify the, the sight or the part you're fitting and not the um, not the gun itself because if you ever have to go back you want your gun to be exactly the way it was so we're going to use a file on the rear sight and so I've got just a simple triangle um, file here and I'm going to start filing on the edge right in here you can see if you press this in a little bit 
you can see where the finish on the rear sight starts to come off and that will tell you exactly where you need to, to remove some metal. And just by me pressing that in there with my finger, it's already stuck. So I'm gonna use the little included punch and knock it out. So then we'll take a look. And you, I don't, since it's been fit before, it's a little bit difficult to see, but there's some marks right here that are rubbed off and they're gonna be on the backside too. So we're gonna, we're gonna take a little bit of metal off both of those. So remember when you're filing to take you know, just do small steps, do a little bit at a time, check your fit, and I'm looking for it to go just a little bit further than when it's gone, because it's, it's not going very far. I notice all these scratch marks on here, this is why I'm not doing it. This was from when I tried to fit it on the, or I did fit it on the Diamondback. It marred up the surface here the aluminum can be cleaned off. You can pretty much take that off there, off the bluing. But to, in order to keep this from happening to you when using the aluminum punch, just put some painter's tape on the end of that and it'll keep this from happening. Right now, like I said, I'm not really too worried about this. The Glock here that you're seeing that we're working on is actually the bedside gun. So it really doesn't see much action. Another trick to find out where you're actually hitting when you're sliding it in is to use a Sharpie or permanent marker, however you want to call it. So I'm going to put some marks on one side of the dovetail and some on the other. Just going to hand push and then knock it right back out. So it looks like we're getting a little bit of marks. all on the back side of the dovetail. So here's the back side. Front doesn't have any marks on it, so we're gonna work on the back side. Yeah, this has gone a little bit further than when, we, when I first started, so I think I'm ready to try it in the press. I'm gonna leave it just like this. And I'm gonna set our press, slip the slide in. And if you're wondering why I'm slipping it in from the backside, from the front, you see the arrow to muzzle that way, it's because with this front piece on the Glock, you can't really get it through there without adjusting everything out of whack. So coming in through the backside, which is still a little awkward. Let me see if I can get that. So remember, adjust your slide to where it's sitting centered over this screw right there. So right now I'm kind of off to the left, so I'm going to loosen up this, screw this one in. That's pretty close. And then we check to see that the uh, press that's pressing the site left or right is going to center it. And it is. It's centered over the dovetail. And these holes on the side are a witness mark, so you can actually look through there and uh, tell if the little press, the, the sight pusher, is going to clear the slide or not. So make sure it's nice and flat, sitting level on that adjustment table. And then we'll tighten this up and tighten them all up. And then we'll start to see if we can get that sucker to drift in. When I did the APX, the whole top part with bow and the screw right across here was bending. And the gunsmith I took it to said, yeah, he's, he's broken a few sight tools as well, trying to install sights. So it, it's going pretty easy. I mean, it, I'm not turning very difficult or turning this thing very hard. It's, it's turning relatively easy. I mean, I'm still, it's co going in tighter than that plastic one was when it came out. So I'm going to center that as best I can. And ideally you would put Loctite on this, but I'm going to run with this for a little while, see how I like them before I go that far. That looks good. Now I'm going to adjust this, or loosen up the side. 
So at this point, I'm going to reduce the table here so I can get my side out. And the tack rack is in the way again. All right. So here we go. That's pretty much centered. And then with this side, we have a set screw right here that you would tighten up. And so this kind of digs in to the top of the slide. All right, so next we're going to put in our fiber front sight. There's an adjustment screw on the bottom and the included tool here. I believe it's a quarter inch. I think that's right. We're going to take it and we're going to unscrew this like so. So don't lose that screw. Definitely put some Loctite on that screw so you don't have it fall out. And then we're going to get our front sight out of here. So on the front side, we're just gonna press that thing out. It's just a piece of plastic munged in there. Press fit, I guess was probably be more of a technical word, technical term for it. And we're almost there. I'm gonna use a screwdriver to pry it out the rest of the way so I don't mess up the plastic on the backside. You see how I've got it kind of pressed up a bit. Careful not to scratch my slide. But then again, this is my, my Glock. It's a workhorse, so it gets beat up pretty good anyway. So here's our little front sight. Probably can still reuse that if we needed to. So now we're gonna take our front sight. Remember the recessed end is gonna to go towards the rear. We're gonna hold that in place. Make sure it test fit it in there. There it goes, snaps in nice and flat. And then we're gonna take our screw. I'm gonna put that on the end of my tool as soon as I can find it. There it is. And like I said, we would put some a uh, little bit of Loctite on that, but once again, I'm just going to run with this and test it out. But I'm pretty sure this is going to be a permanent solution for me, just because I like these sites so what uh, so much. So here we go. So there's our front sight, all tightened up on the inside. There we go. And then if uh, you want to make sure that your sight is going to be straight, what I mean there is in case it's cocked or canted off to one side or another, this one here lined up pretty well. You can actually move it to one side or the other, kind of bend it to the side. It's very slight, but when you're looking down the sight picture for your sights and you see the side of your front sight, that's a problem. But there's our new sight picture with that little fiber front sight. But Going back to the press, for 40 to 50 bucks, it's not a bad tool to have in your gunsmith stuff in case, especially if you're going to be doing sights on a regular basis. Like I said, unfortunately, when I put these on here, I it did not handle it. But, the, you know, a caveat to that was the gunsmith also said he had broken some of his presses as well. And I'm sure he's using much more uh, stouter stuff than this little device here. Well anyways, thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video.